everybody. Okay, I already pre-shuffled, but I am doing this just to save time. I'm just going to pick one card off the beach. So, Mars Mind, Body, Spirit. For the Divine Masculine Energy Collective. And this is Obstacle. These two are for healing. Um, heart. Where is this heart? Just healing. Just one. I'm a little confused trying something new here. Okay, and then where is his heart at? And his divine counterpart. And that all come together. So I'm just gonna keep going. And one more. All right. So. So the first one is, where is the Divine Masculine's mind at right now? And right now he is learning how to trust. Just put these over here. We're not doing upside down reads today because it's just an energy read. Okay. And um, so the first one that I had was, where is his mind at right now? And he needs to trust. Except that inner voice will always guide me correctly. So right now he's having issues with trusting himself, um, his journey. So I'll read trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. The earth can be a tricky place, but you have been given a tool to help you navigate through the murky waters. Your intuition. You must learn to tell the difference between ego talk and soul talk, and then trust your soul. Once you get into the habit of following your intuition, you will come to practice that discernment externally. Discernment. It's like, like word of the month, <laughs> word of the year. You will be able to know if a person or situation is trustworthy. But it all begins with listening to your inner voice. Exercise it like a muscle. And when you determine that it is always right, that wisdom will spread out and influence everything that you do. Decisions will seem easier. Your soul only wants what is best for you. And you must learn to trust it. So that's where the masculine is at with his mind right now. Is, you know, the ego discerning whether it's intuition or ego or what's happening. So just trust your intuition. And body. So this is where, at, where, this is where he is at with his body. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And sometimes we have um, the courage to go physically where we want to go and what we want to do. And um, it's about letting go of the fear of that. So, courage. You need to remind yourself that part of the challenge of being a soul is learning to honor your own power. By listening to your inner voice and following its advice, you are acknowledging the perfection of your intuition. Fear is only an illusion, and obstacles are great opportunities for you to demonstrate that coming from a place of love will conquer all fear's disguises. Perhaps you are changing career paths or entering or exiting relationships. This test has been put before you because it, it is an opportunity to prove to yourself that you, and only you, can make the correct decision. By not taking that step forward, 
you may find yourself two steps back, only to face that same obstacle again. So that's where we're at. Sorry guys, here comes the little boy with his remote controlled Tonka truck or something. Anyway, moving on. Spirit, where's he at? Spirit. So right now he's in fear. And um, that's a lot of it. A lot of it is, look at all three of the cards for mind, body, and spirit had to do with trust, courage, fear, letting go of the fear, trusting and having the courage to move forward. So. Sorry about my nails, but, you know, you get the picture. Courage. Okay. So, what obstacles right now does he have? And we got the Mermaid of Immersion. And that's number 44, which is a master number. Breaks down to eight. Power number, entrepreneur, really moving forward with entrepreneurial things, like maybe wanting to find, or start his own business or things like that. That's his obstacle right now. And um, <clears throat> so the Mermaid of Immersion um, this has been a time of always planning, not doing, procrastinating and making excuses for holdups, reasoning to not go ahead, choosing to live on the land of excuses in old ways. And the deep underneath is calling for you. Your soul has asked you to do this, but you continually waste your time and fritter it away. It is precious. It is bright. It is good. This is different from enjoyment. This is fear masquerading. There are poisons and toxins in your body, old thoughts and patterns that you have maintained. Break free. Dive in. Dive deep. Be surrounded by and belong to the beauty you wish to become. When you return to the land, everything will have changed in beautiful ways. And I love that. It's like, so water is cleansing. It's detoxifying. You know, drink water. Drink water. Um, 44, like I said, it's about, you know, the teacher number, building foundations, logic, trust. And it's like letting go of fear. Immerse yourself completely in this detoxification process. Nemo. Finding Nemo. Dory. <laughs> it's like, remember who you are. Remember your divinity. Okay. And um, what healing needs to happen right now with the Divine Masculine. And guess what we got? Malachite. Healing. <laughs> so what do you have to heal? You have to heal your healing. No. Um, so Malachi, this is going to be a short read. Um, Malachi is all about heart healing. So that's what needs to be healed right now is your heart. Uh, you've been hurt in the past and you need to let go of all that hurt and pain so you can move forward and step into your birthright, your divinity. Um, so it says... Um, the, the devils of Malachite have shown up for you today to share that profound healing is occurring in your life right now. They have heard your prayers for help and are shining their love and healing medicine upon you. The crystals urge you to be patient and gentle with yourself and accept you are deserving of this love. You may have been feeling unwell, had an injury, or more, seri or more serious sickness. This card indicates relief is coming and healing is at hand. Do what you can to help in this healing process. You may be receiving a constant message to slow down, relax, and start making more healthy choices around your food and lifestyle. It is important that you are open to hear the intuitive messages from your soul. It is important to listen and action these changes to assist your healing process. For deep, tangible healing to occur, all aspects of the mind, body, and spirit need to be addressed. The body has an innate intelligence to heal itself, and all you have to do is get out of its way. You can do this by addressing and healing any old stale emotions and feelings and expand beyond any out-of-date belief systems. You're being encouraged to let go of old ways and let the light of healing into all aspects of your being. Be loving and patient with yourself as you embark on this powerful journey. And I love this because a great way to heal is laughter. And I think a lot of, a lot of um, the Divine Collective takes the spiritual journey at this beginning way too seriously. It's about fun. We're still on earth. We're still having fun. We're still wanting to bring this joyous energy into our experience. 
So, yeah, laugh a little bit. Why so serious? <laughs> like Joker says. Uh, yeah, Malachite. If you, uh, that's a good stone for heart healing. If you've been through a breakup or a traumatic situation, PTSD, trauma, Malachite is a great stone for healing those issues and those those pains. Okay, um, number seven, heart. Um, where is his heart at right now? His heart is on his divine feminine and her unconditional love. Mary Magdalene. Love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. This is what he's learning from his divine feminine, is unconditional love. How to unconditionally not only love themselves, but those around them. Um, it doesn't, unconditional love doesn't have to be romantic. It doesn't have to be, you know, anything. It just means loving a person, despite the relationship. So, um, Mary Magdalene. I love her. Uh, I'm not what most people think, yet to defend myself would be to sink to a lower level than I feel comfortable with. I am one with the divine, just as you are, and it is here that I choose to reside. The lower levels, lower levels of human bickering, judgment, and chaos are just that, lower levels. I choose to do my work from the level of the higher consciousness, where the love reigns supreme. It's here where the most good can be done, and I urge you to do the same. Where you dwell in consciousness is where you truly dwell. So focus your thoughts on the good things that you can find in people and rise above all appearances otherwise. And the various cards meaning are don't worry what others think or say. Um, you can heal any situation with love. Send love to those who have hurt you or misjudged you. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. Release old unforgiveness toward others to help yourself heal and move on. So that's where his heart's at right now. Unconditional love. His heart's on his divine feminine. I see Mary Magdalene. She is the, the twin flame of Jesus Christ. So it's beautiful to get this card as where his heart's at. Because his heart is always with his love. Beautiful. And um, what is he thinking of his divine counterpart right now? He sees strength. He channels strength from her. Segment. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures happy outcome. A happy outcome. And we've got the two lions there. That's that's the the strength. That is the you know the courage right here. That's it. If you look at her little crown here, it's like almost looks similar to this card. It actually looks very similar to the trust card. Because you're trusting your higher self. You're trusting that intuition. You're trusting that everything's going to be okay. Segment. See yourself as strong and victorious. Don't complain about anything. Don't blame anyone or any condition. You're the embodiment of strength, not victimhood. As you rise above the old tendencies and see yourself in the new light of beautiful feminine strength, your life will automatically shift in miraculous ways. You'll attract new opportunities, forms of abundance, and relationships to help you manifest your highest potential. Being strong means seeing yourself in the most favorable light you can imagine. Be real. Allow yourself to feel genuine emotions, but most of all, be strong. Don't underestimate yourself. Don't yield to pressure or temptation. Avoid complaining or indulging in negative thinking. Engage in weight training, exercise to make your body stronger. And this is a great card for a lot of divine masculines that are going through physical problems, uh, physical ailments. Like I know a lot of them have fibromyalgia. A lot of them have um, intestinal disturbances. A lot of them have back back things that they're working on um this is the thing you are not your illness if you constantly focus on your illness your illness is going to be you you are embodying that illness now your illness is you you are no longer who you are you are no longer a divine masculine you are that illness quit defining yourself as that that is not who you are be strong Yeah, I don't know why I got so passionate about that one. But yeah, the Eye of Horus is on her chest, which just tells me it's like, you know that you are not your illness. You know that you are not your addiction. You know that you are not any of that. You know all that stuff. So have the strength. 
unconditional love. And then, um, let's see. So right now, what is the, the, I guess, collective between the two? Ten of fire. Too much work. Accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. Once again, back to the strength again. Ten of fire. Okay, you're working too hard and have put in too many hours. There's a need to balance the professional and personal sides of your life. You're trying to do too much. A good first step is to be willing to accept assistance from others. There's hope for successful resolution to your situation or project. However, it's best if you cut unnecessary or burdensome activities from your schedule. Slow your pace to a more comfortable level. level. All work and no play. Darkness before the dawn. Stress-related health problems. Obsessive behavior. Like, what are you obsessing over right now? Um, this journey? Are you obsessing over this journey? Are you obsessing over a person? Are you obsessing over a situation? An outcome? It's time to stop obsessing. What is meant for you will be there for you. There is no need to obsess over it. If the thought comes into your head, push it out. Push it out of your head. And especially um, thoughts of like illness. When those thoughts pop in your head, like, oh, I'm in pain. We know that. But you're giving it more power by even acknowledging its existence. You are in pain. You are in pain. It just is. It is what it is. Transmute that. It's like... If you look at this card, it's like, it almost looks like a phoenix coming out of, like, rising. It's the ghost of it, you know? And you got to let go of the, the old stuff. you got to let go of the old stagnant issues and energy in order to rise from the ashes. Ten of fire. And what is the final outcome for the masculine and feminine right now together? Brand spanking new. Let me find um, this card because this is the one that I put away. Okay, so number nine. And I like that we got number nine because that is the completion. It's the final hurrah before we start something new. It's like letting go of the old stagnant stuff to release the past, release the stagnant energy. It's time to move on. It's time to be hum the humanitarians and fill this world with light like you're supposed to. Uh, you know how it feels after a fresh rain? Everything is pure, clean, washed to its precious, beautiful core. You just want to stick your nose in the air and take a big whip. That's your life right now. There's not one blemish, not one flaw. It's all a perfect ten. Everything else is all in your head. So, it's time to start something new. It's brand spanking new. This is it. This is the time. So, rise from the ashes of the phoenix. Let go of all that's holding you back. All these... This disease is a manifestation of the dis-ease in your body, in your mind, in your soul, in your spirit. Have the courage to release it. Let it go. The past is the past. You don't live there anymore. Detoxify your body. Cleanse it. Swim in the healing oceans of water, of salt water. Like, have a salt bath. It's time to heal. Unconditional love. You guys are there. You guys are doing a great job. Keep going. Keep moving forward. I believe in you. The collective believes in you. We love you. Namaste.